Back out in the middle of the woods. This is actually Bigfoot Forest, or it's Ontario Sasquatch, whatever you want to call it. Figured I'd come out here, check out, see some of the places that were destroyed by the tornado recently. If you guys haven't seen it, check out the video link in the description. I'll leave it down there. Uh, like I said, guys, I was going to ask you if you want to go ahead and do a Q&A. Had a couple people asking me, so I figured we'll go ahead and might as well start it up. So I got a couple questions here. Figured I'd go ahead and do it out in the middle of nowhere. It's nice out, nice night. Just going to pull up the questions. And we'll go from there. If you guys were wondering about the first little bit you saw at the start of this video, that's just the aftermath of a little bit further out of here of a little residential area. Unfortunately, cops are everywhere. You cannot even get in there at this point. So we're hoping maybe I might be able to get over there in the next couple days, but we'll see how it goes. Either way, guys, let's get into the first question. First one we got lined up is from Robocop, Russell. Which, uh, which of the places have you visited is your favorite and why? I'm going to say probably, I have a top three. Uh, the top three, in no particular order, is going to be the vault. So the vault underneath the house. That video was just wicked because it was an old antique house and I never expected to find a vault in the basement underneath it. Um, second one would probably be the satanic house that I came across a little while ago. You'll probably know it as Tom's New Cult House. Um, that one there was a pretty cool find just for the fact that it was a, one of my first finds that I ever did come across. So that was a really wicked location. Um, and I guess probably the last would be most likely the electronics one that I recently found that was fully stocked with electronics. It was a navigations building. Um, I'll leave a link to all three of those videos down below if you guys do want to check them out if you're not sure what I'm talking about. But those are definitely probably my three top favorites. Um, but I'd say probably the electronics one is probably my favorite. Just for the fact that it was so full, it is probably one of the, my favorite things about it. Next question we got from Hope for Lee. Have you ever personally had a paranormal experience? Not really. Uh, the only thing I can say recently would be probably when I opened up that dark web mystery box. So I was editing the video, didn't even notice it until somebody commented below and they showed the actual curtain behind me move. Uh, I had a couple people ask if I had a cat or a dog or anything, but I don't own any animals. For the fact that I'm barely ever home at work and when I am at home I'm normally playing games, so I don't really have time to take care of animals. <laughs> but yeah, that'd probably be one of the only ones I think that I can recall. Maybe when I was younger as a kid, but nothing really like scarring or anything like that. Next one we got is from Firefighter. Besides abandoned place and mystery boxes, what else have you have planned for your channel? Uh, also, how many buffalo will stop the train in Red Dead Redemption 2? Well, plans for the video, plans for the channel, uh, Q&A like this, a little bit of everything. Winter time starts coming around, uh, hockey season starts up. I will probably go to the outdoor rink, so I'll bring you guys along, shoot some pucks around, maybe go to the outdoor Rideau Canal, the world's biggest outdoor skating rink, go downtown. We're gonna just check it out, just gonna be a fun channel. Uh, that's one reason I'm doing the Q&A, to give you guys a little more info about myself, and it'll actually give you guys a little bit better idea of what you guys maybe want to see in the video. You can suggest some things that I can check out, and might be down for it. Uh, as for the Buffalo stop on the train, I'll leave that up to Not Point Four Live. If anybody is curious, I am big into uh, GTA V right now, and a big thing is how many things can stop the train, which nothing can. So, I don't know, I'm going to say 150 Buffalo, but we'll leave it up to Not Point Four for that one. Next up we got is Big 420 Punisher. Uh, why not start a geocache and send it down this way, see how far it'll go. That's a good idea, the only problem is that I have heard that geocaches, they kind of stopped allowing you create them, unless you're a specific person, part of the community. Uh, just for the fact that a lot of people that don't know what geocaching is will find these packages and they'll think it's a bomb or something, so they do a call in as a bomb threat. Um, so again, I'd have to look into it, but it might be an idea, might send some things around. Uh, but I'll keep posted on that one, Punisher. If anybody isn't sure what geocaching is, I'll post a link to a video that shows exactly what it is, a quick explanation, and shows me going out and finding some. Next one we got is Radical Reaper. What made you start up a new channel, start doing vlogs? Uh, was GTA getting boring or more of something you had wanted to do? 
Um, I mean, I've been around YouTube for a long time. I've always been into gaming. Uh, the hard thing with gaming is it keeps you indoors so much. I like being outdoors. I like going out and checking things out. So I figured Abandoned Place is something that piques my interest for the fact that I like seeing history, um, but not really doing education history in school. I'd rather physically go see it myself. So it's just something that I enjoy doing. Uh, it's a cool experience. It's a fun thing to do. But let me know if you guys enjoy them as well. GTA though, it never gets boring. I still play it. I still stream. Uh, I have my other channel, Knife Guy Productions. If you guys aren't familiar, you can go check that out as well. Next question we have is Dave Asimov over on Facebook. Uh, will you ever go explore abandoned places in other cities in Ontario? Yeah, my plan is definitely doing that. Uh, I have been to a couple other cities and actually the videos that I do post, those, are, those aren't specifically just Ottawa. They're outside of Ottawa and other cities too. Uh, but I know I want to go up to Kingston, Ontario, because that's another one uh, that has a lot of history behind there. So we'll probably definitely go check it out. Wintertime coming around, maybe travel a little bit more. Next summer, I want to definitely do a big tour, though. So we'll check out some places. Next one is from Scarface. Scarface says, what, uh, what got you into YouTube? And also, what do you have planned for the future of your channel? YouTubing mainly getting me into it was just watching it. I just enjoyed watching YouTube. I like watching a lot of just content of mixed everything, whether it's vlogs, gaming, sports, music, anything like that. Um, and then watching enough of it, I started thinking, why can't I just start creating stuff? We'll post something on there other people can enjoy, but I can still watch everything that I normally watch. So I started out gaming because I enjoyed GTA and I saw a lot of people had an interest in it. So I figured start out with there. And then vlogging was kind of just a thing that I'm going out and doing things, so why not bring everybody along and have a fun time with it, have a good experience, share everything with everybody, get you guys a little bit closer, a little more personal into my life. Uh, but either way, guys, that's about it for the Q&A. I will do another one coming up, I don't know, in a little bit, maybe not right away or anything like that, but just something I figured I'd split it up with, give you guys a little insight into my life. If you guys have any questions, though, leave more comments down below with your questions. I'll try to answer them right after this video. But what we're going to do is we're going to check around Bigfoot Forest, the Ontario Sasquatch Forest. And we'll see if we can find old Yellowtop, because apparently Yellowtop is an Ontario version of Sasquatch. I'll leave a little picture here. That's apparently what he looks like. It's essentially a Bigfoot with a yellow top on it. So if we don't see anything here, it's starting to get a little dark. It might wait around a little longer, and we'll see what we can find, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate all the questions and all the support, guys. While we're doing it, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's keep working our way out. Alrighty. <laughs> So we made it out to a part you guys may remember in one of my last videos. If you guys remember my MTV Cribs. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to GTA 5 Cribs. Here's my crib boys, let's go check it out. This is a location, and my house is gone. <laughs> Somebody broke my house. Alright guys, that's about it. I'm heading out of the woods. It's getting hot in here. It's getting dark. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know if you guys have any further questions in the comments below. If you guys are new, drop a subscribe on the video and the channel. You always appreciate it. Click post notifications and we'll see you guys in the next one. Later.